Hello, so continuing today on this slate code uh, biweekly contest 17, uh, problem is distinct um, equal substring uh, or substrings. So the first, um, so um, let's just, first let's just reset this. Um, so let's see what the problem says. So the problem says return the number of distinct non-empty substrings of tests that can be written as the concatenation of some string with itself. This is a little bit hard to decipher, but essentially what they mean is we want the substrings such that for, for which the, the first half equals the second half. And so if we look at this string, um, the first for, for these substrings ABC, ABC, the first half, which is ABC, is equal to the last half, which is ABC also. This one, same thing, BCA, BCA, the first half, which is BCA, is equal to the second half, which is BCA. Same thing, CA, BC, CAB here, the first half is equal to the second half. And basically, we want to count these substrings. And the similar thing here for lead code, um, which there, you have two. You have this one, this from the entire string itself, and then you have just EE, which is each letter repeats, right? So one half equal to the second half. Um, it's only lowercase English letters, and we have at most length 2000, right? So here length 2000 is not a lot. So if we see that, if we do it in a, in a, without doing a lot of work, we can, we, can, we can do it even in a brute force way, right? So that's the idea here. Just a brute force, try all the substrings and take those that literally correspond to the, um, to the problem statement. There is just one caveat, which is that they have to be distinct, right? So let's just do the brute force one. So the brute force one would say, what 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 do we need to do? So for the brute force solution, uh, since we want distinct substrings, let's just keep a set of them, and then at the end we can just return the length of that um, set of of those strings that match the criteria that the problem asks, right? And now we need to go through the just all the substrings essentially. So the start is they can start from any position at i and um, since it has to be at least two letters because one half needs to be equal to the other half so we need to start from i plus one and go all the way also to the length of s um, and then we can just check if the first half which is from i to j is equal so this basically what i'm substring that i'm doing here is only the first half so essentially what i'm doing is for this string if I look at this string here, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find ABC, right? And then I'm going to look if there is after it, right after it, if the, if, if the string right after it is equal to it. That's the only thing I'm, I'm going to do. And same thing with this one. What I'm going to do is, okay, let's just, so my I would be at this position essentially, right? My I would be here. And so I will look at BC and see if BC equal to the string after it, which is AB, and that's not not correct. So I move on. I move on to I move on with J. So I try BCA is base. So that's basically my J would move on from here, right? And then I will try now BCA is the string after BCA of the same length. Is it equal to it, which is this BCA? I find that it's equal to it. I add. Um, I add SEJ, just the first half to the set, right? Because if the first half is unique, then the last half, so the second half is unique, because then the entire string is unique because um, it's the same substring, right? And so, and then once I'm done, I'll go to the next I and keep doing that. So I try C, is the next letter to it um, the same? Nope. So I go for CA, is the next equal to it? No. I try CEB, C -E CAB is the next equal to it. It's CAB, so it's equal to it. So again, I add it to the set. So in order to check the next to IJ, that's just starting from J, right? Because this ends just before J. And then it's J plus the length of SAG, right? So I could either do length of SAG here, or I could actually um, do just j minus i. That's the length of. That's the the, the exact length of uh, the string s uh, s uh, the substring from i to j, right? And so if this is equal, then that means that I add it to the set. If it's not, if it existed before, then adding it to the set won't do anything, right? 
So I need to add this. Sij the substring. And then at the end I'm returning the the length, right? That's pretty much it. So let's run this. Um, in terms of time complexity here, we are doing um, an O of n, right? We are doing an O of n here, and then O of n here, so it's O of n squared, right? And in terms of space, we are using this set, so which is at most O of n. So just before, I will fix that error, but time complexity, O of n squared. Uh, space complexity is just O of n. Uh, sorry, it's actually we add all the substrings, which there are all the at most all of them so same thing over squared for the space complexity um so here s is not defined yep uh, this should be s okay so that passes um one thing um we can do is is this so basically um, if we have a string, let's say like um, this. So let me just take the string. Um, and then one other way we can check this is you could do start with where you could give the what you want to check if it starts with it. And then you could give the start position to check from, right? So instead of if this index calculation is a little bit hard to get right, you could just say, okay, check that starting from so here you could just say s starts with um, the same thing right starts with the same first half that has to be equal to it and we want to start from just where this ended right which is j so that we can check that well is this the same which means is the string at this position starts with this half, uh, with this uh, substring from i to j. If it is, then that's the same thing as what we did earlier. Um, yeah, we need this. Um, it seems like there is a slight problem. Um, Actually, I don't need to check equal. It just starts with, right? There is no need to check equal. Okay, I'll submit. Okay, so that also passes. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so that's it for this um, problem, um, distinct echo substrings. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please press like and uh, subscribe. Um, I'm doing these late code contest um, problems uh, and trying to do them every week. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.